I think the possibilities are endless. So we can have end products doing much more than today's capability. And innovation here at home, the growing research at USF into semiconductors, the tiny chips that power just about everything we use. From Tampa Bay's number one news station, this is the Fox 13 6 o'clock news. Good evening and welcome tonight. I'm Mark Wilson. And I'm Allie Corey. Thanks for being with us. New at 6, the U.S. is now spending billions of dollars trying to manufacture more chips. We're talking about those tiny semiconductors used in everything from our cars, phones, TVs, and even fighter jets. As Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers shows us, tiny chips could bring big opportunities at USF. That's what he was talking about, the ultrasound. Ultra They're both earning PhDs at USF, focusing on tiny semiconductors or chips that continue to change the world. In the reality of things, no matter what field you're in, microprocessors and integrated circuits in general will only become more prevalent as time moves forward. The right chip carries the right electrical current through virtually everything we use, the heart of our electronics. A shortage of chips caused a shortage of cars, and there's national defense. Our warplanes won't work without semiconductors. Most chips are made in Taiwan, so Congress passed the CHIP Act. We need to make these chips right here in America to bring down everyday costs and create good jobs. The CHIP Act calls for the U.S. to spend $280 billion to boost research and manufacturing of microchips in the U.S. We have been wishing for this opportunity for years because we had the passion to sort of see that this industry is growing. USF has started a semiconductor graduate certificate program with thousands more jobs expected as the U.S. tries to catch up designing and manufacturing chips. As an engineer, as somebody who's researching in a lab, I don't want to go out and do just the testing of the product. I would want to put my hands on on the product and say that, yes, we did this. High hopes for bringing home the tiny chips for America's economy and its defense. Lloyd Towers, Fox 13 News. And today, the Departments of Commerce and Defense agreed to improve information sharing. Officials say that will strengthen national security as China attempts to overtake the U.S. in semiconductor production.